Hi, this is another instruction video from Hardy. In this next segment, we'll guide you through choosing filters. The filters on the sprayer are there to protect the components and also to prevent nozzle blockage. A sprayer typically has four filters. The first ones filter the liquid entering the tank. These filters are relatively coarse and it could be a basket filter like this one located at the top of the tank or a inline filter like this one here. If you're filling uh, from a pond or a stream then we recommend that you use an inline filter because it'll prevent small stones and objects entering the, uh, the tank and then the pump uh, which in the end fouls the pump valves. The second filter, also relatively coarse, is the suction filter located between the tank and the pump. Uh, it could look like this. The third is a pressure filter uh, because it's on the uh, pressure side of the pump and these filters are filtering the uh, liquid going to the nozzles. And the fourth uh, filter is placed at the nozzles uh, to prevent uh, blockage from particles that have been accumulated in the spray lines. Uh, the filters are color coded to indicate the mesh size. Mesh is the number of threads uh, per inch. So the higher the number, the finer the filtration. Our coarse uh, 30 mesh is uh, color coded green, the uh, 50 mesh is color coded blue, the 80 mesh is red, and then the finest, the yellow one, is 100 mesh. Um, with filter choice, uh, this depends on nozzle choice because there's no point filtering out particles that would pass through the nozzle. Uh, your instruction book or um, our um, nozzle catalog uh, will give you recommendations. Uh, in this case, with this uh, Hardy uh, O2 Lilac uh, nozzle, uh, the recommendation would be to use an 80 mesh um, uh, nozzle uh, filter. Why not use uh, the finest filter on the suction side, the filter before the pump, and do away with all the other filters? Well, we don't do this because it would um, mean that you would have to clean the filter uh, often and also it would cause uh, cavitation in the pump and in the end damage the pump. Um, some systems uh, have a, um, a gauge uh, easily visible from the tractor seat to indicate when the uh, suction filter needs servicing. Our Easy Clean suction filter opens without causing spot pollution. It's also got a couple of flaps at the bottom of the filter to trap uh, particles. Some pressure filters are self-cleaning. In self-cleaning filters, the particles that would normally block the filter are returned to the tank where they come from. Our self-cleaning filters from the early 80s the uh, return line is at the bottom and in the return line there's a restrictor. Be careful not to lose it. If you lose it, you won't be able to obtain spraying pressure. The uh, high capacity version of the self-cleaning filter has a uh, valve at the bottom of the filter. It's got three positions and position two, shown with these two dots, is the normal spray position. Position three is a um, boost function that you use for extra cleaning. Inline filters are also available. These could reduce uh, the service intervals as it's easier to service say five of these than it is 48 of these. We hope this guide will help you. For other hardy instruction videos, check out our YouTube channel.